Tiger. Panda. Hello! Come on, let's go and have some fun today. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hey! Look at the cool uniform I'm wearing. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? Fire You're a firefighter. Fighter. That's right. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, Toto. <laughs> Fire! That's right, Toto. Firefighters put out fires. But we can also help when someone gets stuck. That's why I bring this axe. Dr. Panda, come down here. Coming, Olette. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> uh, hi, Olette. What's up? Hi, Dr. Panda. It's time for the ladder test. <gasps> we have to make sure it works properly for when there's an emergency. Okay, you get up the ladder and I'll operate the panel. No, you're Chief Ladder Firefighter. I'm Supervisor of Operations. Oh, what does that mean? It means you get up the ladder and I operate it. But you don't know which lever operates what. I'll work it out. Get up there. Okay. Hmm, now let me see. Uh, <coughs> ah, ah, no, the green one. Oops, sorry. Ah, oh! hmm, I wonder what the yellow one is for. Ah, <coughs> oh, oh, right. What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see. <laughs> no, that wasn't it! Um, wait! I got it now! Yep, the ladder works perfectly. We can check that off the list. I feel dizzy. Let's test the siren next. Hello? Hoopa, are you there? Dr. Panda, you have to help me. It's an emergency. I'm stuck. I can hardly see you, Hoopa. Where are you? I'm at home. I'm stuck inside my own house. Please come. Hang on, buddy. We're on our way. But we didn't test the siren yet. We'll do it on the way. Are you coming, Toto? Yay! <laughs> Tell us what happened, Hooper. I was building an extra tower on my house, but I forgot to make a door or any windows. It's really dark in here. No worries. We'll get you out. Hold on, Hooper. I'm coming. I'll let the ladder. Ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I have a visitor. Come on in! Oh, wait, there's no door. Step back, Hoopa! I have to break the wall with my axe! <laughs> Dr. Panda! Am I glad to see you! Whoa! Cool ladder! Thanks, guys! It was really dark up there. Moo? What's the trouble? It's an emergency! No worries, we're on our way! Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. oh no! What's the emergency? Oh, oh, it's Bella, one of my chickens. She went all the way up this tree, and now she's afraid to come back down. Have you tried calling for her? Oh. Bella! <gasps> She can't hear me. Have you tried tempting her down with some food? Oh. Yoo-hoo! Bella! Look what I got here. A basket full of cupcakes. Mmm. Oh, mm. oh, so good. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work either. OK, that's it. We have to chop the tree down. There's no other way. Wait! Halt! Stop! There is another way. Yes! Good idea. We can knock the tree over with the truck. Or we could use the ladder. Oh, right. Ready? Mm-hmm. 
Slow and steady now. Hey there, Bella. No need to be afraid. You want to come down with me? Oh, wow. Huh, you don't want to leave, do you? You want to enjoy the view. Papa. Dr. Pander, where's my chicken? She doesn't want to come down. Oh, no. Oh, no. That means this picnic is ruined. Hang on. Is that why you need her down? Yes. I've prepared this wonderful picnic for all of us. But we can't eat it while she's up there. Hey, you know, ladders aren't just for getting someone down. They can also take someone up. Hmm? Hi. Mind if we join you? Oh. oh. Come on up, everyone. Wow. What a beautiful sunset. It sure is. Hey, good work on operating that ladder. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Ah, I think that was another job well done, Toto. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> you know, that ladder was actually a lot of fun. Hey, maybe we can make a ride out of it and start a carnival. What do you think? Yay! Well, that'll be an adventure for another day. See you next time! Goodbye, Goodbye, Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Dr. Panda? Hello? Dr. Dr. Panda. Panda? Where could he be? <laughs> coming! Coming! I'm here. Hi, everyone. Whew. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? <laughs> You're a mailman. That's right. Today, I'm... The first rule of being a mailman is never be late. Oh, hi, Richie. You're right. I'm sorry. My alarm clock is broken, and it didn't wake me up. Why didn't you order a new one? I did. And it was supposed to come in the mail a week ago, but it still hasn't been delivered. Well, okay. Let's get to work. I have all this mail to sort, and you have to make your round. As long as nothing else goes wrong today, we should be a-okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> <gasps> A bit of help, please? <sighs> this is bad. This is really bad. What's the matter? This package has been stuck in the machine, and now it's been labeled with every address. And these packages didn't get labeled at all. So how will we ever know who this mail is for? You have to deliver these packages today! The important thing is not to panic. Too late for that! I'm already panicking! What do we do? Hmm. Well, we have all the addresses, so we know who is expecting deliveries. Now we just have to work out which package belongs to whom. Maybe we can open the mail to see if there are any clues inside. No! The second rule of being a mailman is never, ever open the packages yourself. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Let's see what we know. It says on here that this package came from Baboon Building Supplies. Aha! So who do we know in Panda City that likes to build things? I think I know who ordered this package. Oh, oh boy. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, Hoopa. Did you order something from Baboon Building Supplies? My bricks. <sighs> Let me help you. Yay! Is it okay if I take this? Sure, no problem. Thanks, Dr. Panda. What a great service. <gasps> Look, Toto. Moo's name is on one of the labels. She must have ordered something. Let's go. <laughs> Moo! Moo who? Are you home? I have this package for you, but I don't know which. <laughs> hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! <laughs> Chickens! Enough! <laughs> they can smell.
smell the food I ordered for them. Ah, so that's why they were chasing me. Maybe we can use the chicken's excellent sense of smell to work out which package is yours. <laughs> Must be the one. <laughs> Corn, their favorite. Great job, guys. Oh, glad to help. Okay, Toto, only three more packages to go. And look, one of these is for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Do you have my package? I'm sure I do, but I don't know which one it is. Something went wrong at the sorting office, and some packages weren't labeled correctly. Oh, no. I have to practice for my basketball game, but I can't do that without the ball I ordered. Oh, <laughs> I think I know which one is your package. Oh, this one. N uh. Don't you think the ball is in the round package? Oh, not the square one. No, not the square one. <laughs> my ball! Great! Do you want to stay for a game? Oh, maybe later. We still have two more packages to deliver. One of them is for May May. Hi, Dr. Panda. Oh, what have you got for me? Hi, May May. One of these is yours, but I don't know which one. Do you remember what you ordered? Oh, Dr. Panda, it could be anything. A new dress, a nice warm sweater, a scarf. Whatever's in this package is hard. It feels wooden. This feels much softer. Oh, and all the things you mentioned are soft as well. Yes, you're right. I guess this must be your package then. Oh, wow, my coat. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> it looks great on you. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Well, that just leaves this package. But I can't read the last label. Hmm. Maybe if I carefully peel off the other address label, I can find out who this last package is for. Oh, oh no! I ripped it! <gasps> what will you do? Uh, I guess we'll have to take it back to Richie and tell him the bad news. Dr. Panda, did you manage to deliver all the packages? Uh, all except one. I accidentally ripped the last label. What? That means we'll never have it delivered on time. <gasps> Tick tock. What is it, Toto? Tick tock. Of course. I know who this is for. Hey, what are you doing? Remember the second rule never open the mail yourself. <laughs> but this final package is for me. It's the new alarm clock you ordered. That's right. Well,. Let's hope it wakes you up in time for your next job. We'll have to find out about that another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you, what are you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Look, I'm in a hospital. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a doctor. <laughs> That's right. And I've got a special patient to attend to. Uh, hey, Doc, can you take this thing off my leg already? I'm afraid not, Bip. This cast helps to fix your broken leg. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, but I can hardly move with this thing on. <laughs> well, that's the idea. Ah, your temperature is fine. You need to stay in bed and move your leg as little as possible. Huh. For how much longer? A few more days. Wait, what? Days? Calm down, Bip. Your leg needs to rest so it can get better. Oh, <laughs> oh that's right. This came for you. Hey, a get well soon card. Hope you're feeling better soon, Bip. I hope Dr. Panda fixes your leg quickly. Get well soon, Bip so I can beat you at basketball. Oh. Isn't it nice that everyone is thinking about you? I'll come and check on you later. Huh? Uh, Dr. Panda, wait! Uh, let's play checkers. Prepare to be beaten. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Bib, I can't. I've got lots to do. Why don't you rest a little, and I'll see you soon, okay? doing <laughs> Bip huh, wh Bip where are you hmm. Toto do you know where Bip's gone uh -uh. Oh, we need to get him back into bed hmm maybe his friends know where he is hi dr. Panda Hoopa, have you seen? I'm glad you called, Dr. Panda. I get this funny feeling in my back when I twist around. I'll take a look at it later, but right now I need to find Bip. No, oh, he's helping me clean the fire engine. You did a great job fixing his leg, Dr. Panda. Woohoo! Oh, there he is, behind you. There's <laughs> my back. Uh, Bip, stop! <sighs> Do you know where he might have gone? Uh, he was talking to May May just now. Ah, oh, thanks, Hoopa. Oh, and take a nice warm bath. That should help make your back feel better. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Not bad. Not bad? I've been working on these moves all week. Well, it just needs some bip magic. How about a spin? It's an ambulance. Uh oh, Dr. Panda? May May, is Bip here? Oh, well, he was. I guess he just ran off. Ah, oh, any idea where he went? He said something about a game of basketball. Olette, thanks! <laughs> hey, not fair! Stop! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, my leg! <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I guess. Let me take you back to the hospital. Okay. Ah, everything sounds fine. If you keep resting, your leg will be as good as new. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I have to... Uh, hmm. I think I know why you keep trying to get away. Are you missing your friends, Bip? Uh, I hate being on my own. It's so boring. <laughs> hey, thanks, Toto. I have an idea. If you can't go to see your friends, maybe your friends can come to see you. <laughs> and then there was the time I rescued a cat from a tree, but then I got stuck and had to be rescued myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Thanks for inviting everyone, Dr. Panda. No problem. We've worked out a timetable. I'll be here tomorrow to beat you at basketball. Basketball? Miniature basketball. <laughs> That's so cool. And I'll be here the day after to show you my new dance routine. I've decided to put in a spin. I taught her that. <laughs> we'll all take turns to visit you, Bip, to make sure your time here isn't too boring. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Panda. You guys are awesome. I'm feeling better already. Wait until I beat you at Miniature Basketball. <laughs> 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 we'll see about that. <laughs> Hi, 
Toto, are you playing with your friends too? Nina, Nina. <laughs> oh, you want to ride in an ambulance too, do you? Yes. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are, what are you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to be a truck driver. Yay! Where are you driving to? Well, first, we need to go to Moo's farm to pick up the delivery. And then, we'll drive it to Leo's house up the mountain. Have a fun trip. Oh, we will. Now, where's Toto? What have you got there, Toto? <gasps> Loon! <laughs> sure, I'll blow it up for you. Uh, but let's wait until we get back, because it might fly away in the truck. So, are you ready to get trucking? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> let's go! Oh, there you are, Dr. Pander. I've got Leo's order ready to go. You better hurry. It's a long drive. <laughs> no worries, Moo. I'll have this loaded up in no time. Wait! Be careful. There are eggs in there. If they break before you get to Leo's house, they'll be useless. Oh, hey, maybe we should protect the eggs. Like what? Hmm. Moo, have you got any old pillows? Hmm? Even with all of these feathers, you'll still have to drive really carefully to make sure the eggs don't break. The road gets very bumpy further up the mountain. No worries, Moo. I'll be extra careful. Ah, what a perfect day for a drive, Toto. <laughs> on the road, right on track, with the load of eggs in the back, up the mountain and all the way back. Better hope those eggs don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why is the truck shaking? I hope it's not going to shake the egg basket. Oh, and what's that noise? Uh, I gotta stop Poopa before the eggs get broken. Poopa, stop! Oh, hello, Dr. Panda. Poopa, turn off the drill. I can't hear you! Wait! Let me turn off the drill! Hello, Dr. Panda! What brings you all the way up here? <laughs> I'm taking a basket full of eggs to Leo. Could you stop drilling until we've gone past? Sure! No problem! But watch out! The road really gets rocky further up the mountain. Okay, thanks! See you later, Hoopa! See ya! Ready, steady, drill! Uh-oh! Uh. I think we hit a rock, Toto. Ah, oh, phew! At least the eggs are okay. Flat! Yep, very flat. But no worries. I'll have it fixed in no time. First, we lift up the truck uh, using this. It's called a jack. Uh, uh, uh. And after that, we take the old tire off. Look, there's the hole. Ooh. But I can patch this up and it'll be good as new. <laughs> See? It's like a balloon. Balloon! Now I can put the tire on. Ah. And we can get going. All done. <laughs> I think we're past the hardest bit. We're almost there, Toto. There's the river. All we have to do is cross the bridge and drive down to Leo's place. Look! Oh, those tree trunks must have fallen from the bridge and floated over to Leo's. Hmm, 
The truck will never fit on the bridge now. I guess I'll just have to carry the eggs across instead. I'll be right back, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no! Mm. Uh, it's no good, Toto. I can't go that way. I might break all the eggs. Ah, uh, how will I get them to Leo now? Hmm. Maybe there's something in the truck we can use. Balloon! Oh, sorry, Toto. This is no time to play with your balloon. <gasps> <laughs> huh? Hmm. Aha! I think I know how to get the eggs to Leo. the bridge to tell Leo his delivery is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dr. Panda. I was wondering where my delivery had got to. Where has it got to? Well, we couldn't drive over the bridge, Leo, so we sent it by river. Ooh, good thinking, Dr. Panda. Any eggs broken? Nope. All of them are still perfect. Oh, Moo will be so happy to hear that. Hey, <laughs> good. Then it's time to break them. Huh? Well, I'm making scrambled eggs for lunch. Ooh, why don't you and Toto stay and eat with me? That sounds great. But where is Toto? <laughs> oh, I see. You want to go swimming. Yes. Well, that's an adventure for another day. First, we'll have lunch with Leo. Yay! See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Uh, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm making deliveries. Can you guess what I'm delivering? You're a milkman. That's right. Milk. It looks like it's going to be a hot day, Toto. Everyone will want some nice, cool milk. First, we have to go to Moo's farm and collect the milk. Moo! Moo! Let's go! Hello? Moo! Phew, it's already getting hot. Where are you? Strawberries, Dr. Pander. So many strawberries. Oh, oh, hi, Moo. We've come for the milk. Yes, yes, it's over there. Oh, if I don't pick all of these strawberries today, they'll go bad in the hot sun. Hey, maybe Toto and I can help. Would you? Oh, you're a real lifesaver, Dr. Pander. Okay. First, let me put the milk in my van where it'll stay cold. Oh, I better turn it up a little. The milk needs to stay cool or it'll go bad in the heat. Ready to help, Moo. Oh, good. Let's start picking. Of strawberries. Oh, yes! More than I need! <gasps> Maybe you could take this extra crate of strawberries for your customers. Great idea! Thanks, Moo! No, thank you! Bye now! Bye, Moo! Bye-bye! <sighs> We're running 
running a little late, Toto. Are you ready to start our deliveries? Yay! Right. Our first customer is Olette. something strange. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have time to stop now, Toto. We'll have to look at it when we're at Olette's. Right on time, Dr. Panda. I was just about to have my breakfast. Hi, Olette. Where do you want your milk? Oh, in the kitchen, please. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. And I've been looking forward to pouring this fresh, cold milk over my cereal. Hey, why isn't the milk coming out? Hmm? Oh, no. I think the milk might have gotten a little too cold. I'm sorry, Olette. It's frozen. Frozen? But now what am I going to have for my favorite meal of the day? Would you like some strawberries? <gasps> strawberries? I love strawberries. You have strawberries, Dr. Panda? I sure do. Freshly picked this morning. Follow me. Phew. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Uh, the strawberries are all squashed. That must have been the noise we heard. Squashed strawberries and frozen milk. Well, how is that supposed to make a tasty breakfast? I have an idea. Olette, how do you feel about a strawberry milkshake? For breakfast? Really? This is the best strawberry milkshake I have ever tasted. <laughs> oh, let me get that. Dr. Panda, we saw your milk van outside. And you're late with our milk. Oh, I'm so sorry. We've been making strawberry milkshake. Would you like to try some? For breakfast? Awesome. You have to taste this. It's amazing. Oh, this is incredible! Delicious! Can I have some more, please? Sure! I'll add some to your delivery when I come around to your house. Yay! I should go. I have lots more deliveries to make. Are you coming, Toto? <laughs> uh-huh. See ya! Bye, Dr. Panda and Toto! Thanks, Dr. Panda! Ah, <sighs> did you like your milkshake, Toto? <laughs> Ice cream! Huh? Oh, you think we should make ice cream, do you? Yay! That's a great idea, Toto! Oh, oh yeah, I love I ice cream. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love ice cream. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> That'll be an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a dentist. <laughs> That's right. Today, I'll be checking people's teeth. <laughs> you have to be gentle when treating someone. Let's prepare for our first patient. Hi, Moo. Ready for your checkup? Well, uh, no. I mean, yes. 
How is Dr. Panda? Is he fine? Is he sick? Not feeling well, is he? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to cancel my checkup. I'll come back some other time. Dr. Panda is feeling quite all right, Moo. He'll be ready to see you shortly. Oh, that's great. We don't usually allow chickens at the dentist. She doesn't like to come to the dentist either. But it calms her when I stroke her head. Uh, take your seat. Dr. Panda will be with you shortly. Hi, Moo. Isn't the dentist fun? I've been brushing five times a day, front and back, top and bottom, and flossing after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and... Richie, time for your checkup. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Richie. Please take a seat. Whoa! Your chair's wobbly, Dr. Panda. I know, but it's nothing to worry about. Let's get started on your checkup. Open wide, please. Your teeth are sparkling clean, Richie. You've been brushing them well. So, do I get a happy smile badge? Please tell me I get a happy smile badge. Oh, you've earned it. I'll see you at your next checkup. Oh, yes! Hi, Richie. Whoa! Cool badge. Thanks. Hooper, you're next. I hope I get a badge, too. You're right off to Hooper, Moo. Oh, it's okay. Take as long as you like. No rush. <sighs> Ready for your checkup, Hooper. Let's just bring the chair down a little. <laughs> your chair has a bit of a wobble, Dr. Panda. Do you want me to fix it? <laughs> well, if you don't mind, that'd be great. It's a bit stuck. Let me push down harder on it. Oh, can you hear that? What is Dr. Panda doing to poor Hooper? Thank you so much for fixing my chair, Hoopa. No problem. Open wide, please. Great. Ah. Your teeth are in great shape, Hoopa. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Uh, so, do you have something for me? Here's your happy smile sticker, Hooper. Yes! Checkups are the best. Hooper, you made it! Are you okay? I'm better than okay, Moo. I'm great! Come on in, Moo. Hi, Moo. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to bring one of your chickens along today. Are you sure it wouldn't be more comfortable in the waiting room? Oh, no! She's much more relaxed when she's close to me. Oh, well, that's fine. Come and sit in the chair, please. Oh, dear! She doesn't like going up and down. And she likes bright lights even less. Is that better? She certainly seems to be making herself at home. Oh, no! She doesn't like being at the dentist. No offence, Dr. Pander. It just makes her so nervous. Oh, I can feel her poor tail feathers trembling. Hmm. Are you sure it's not you who's really nervous, Moo? Me? Ha! No, of course not! No! Well, yes. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Pander. I just get so worried about going to the dentist. I feel so silly. It's okay, Moo. There's no need to feel silly. Why don't we put your chicken down, huh? Now, I'm just going to have a look at your teeth, that's all. Open wide, please. <laughs> Chew! Let Dr. Panda do his work. So, let's see. What? Oh! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> no! That's enough! <gasps> I'm so sorry about my chicken. Ah, uh, no worries, Moo. I think your chicken's just a little bored. <laughs> Here's an idea. 
Why don't we give her a checkup first? Open wide, please. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looking very good. Well done. So, that's it? All done? Yes. You see, there's nothing to worry about. Are you ready for your checkup now, Moo? I, yeah, I think so. Yes. Let's do it. Ah. Great. You see, having a checkup isn't so bad. Uh, what was that? Moo says she loves coming to the dentist now. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Panda. Oh! <laughs> bye bye. See you at your next checkup. Um, Dr. Panda, you do know that chickens don't even have teeth. <laughs> That's true, Olette. But the chickens' checkup helped soothe Moo's nerves, didn't it? You gave me that idea with your toy shark, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, doctor. Oh, you want to be an animal doctor now. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you guys next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a weather reporter. We work out what the weather is going to be like, and then we tell everyone about it. Hey, where's Toto? Toto is spending the afternoon at the farm with Moo. Oh, okay. It's time to go on TV, Dr. Panda. Are you ready? Yep, all set. In three, two... <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's weather report. Today, It'll be very warm. Ah, I guess I won't need to wear a jacket for my workout later. It will also be very calm with no wind at all. <laughs> Perfect weather for skateboarding. And finally, our weather equipment tells us there will be no rain. Great! That means I can work on my roof today. And that's the weather report for today. See you tonight for tomorrow's weather. <gasps> you did great, Dr. Panda. Well, with our special weather equipment, how could we go wrong? Uh-oh. <gasps> What's wrong? Uh, something's up with our special weather equipment. Come on. Uh -oh. Check the thermometer first. It tells us how warm or cold it is. Oh, Mimi, look at this. Oh, how cute. Oh, the mommy bird must have thought this was a good place to keep her eggs warm. Oh, but the nest is also keeping the thermometer warm. Looks like it's a lot colder than we thought. <laughs> I thought Dr. Panda said it would be warm today. I'm freezing. <sighs> Something else is wrong. The wind meter isn't moving. Someone's kite has blown up here and got tangled up with it. Looks like it's quite windy today after all. <gasps> Dr. Panda was wrong! <gasps> This should be moving around, searching the sky for rain clouds. I think it needs some oil. Um, Dr. Panda, didn't you say there wasn't gonna be any rain today? That's right. Today, there will be no rain. Quick, get back inside. Oh, no! Rain! 
and I have no roof! Hello? Dr. Panda, you got the weather all wrong. I know, Hoopa. But I have to finish my building work. So I need to know what the weather is going to be. No worries. Let me check. What? Ah! Oh, my laptop is broken. Mm. Rain and laptops don't mix. I need the laptop to tell me what our equipment is saying about the weather. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what the weather is going to be, Hoopa. I guess. I'll just have to guess, I guess. I'm sorry, Hoopa. Oh. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Hi, Toto! Hey, Moo! How did you know it was going to rain today? Our weather report said it was going to be dry. Well, Dr. Pander, I'm a farmer. I always know what the weather's gonna be. You do? Well, what equipment do you use? A thermometer? A satellite dish? <gasps> Weather balloons? <laughs> Don't be silly. I can tell from what I see around me on the farm, like the color of the sky or how the chickens behave. Chickens know what the weather is going to be? Oh, you'd be surprised. <gasps> Moo, I think you'd make an excellent TV weather reporter. <gasps> I'll get the camera. In three, two, one. Good evening and welcome to the weather report. We are sorry to have gotten the weather wrong today, but... We have a special reporter with a better way of telling the weather. Over to you, Moo. Hmm? Uh, hello. <laughs> Let me see now. Uh, well, there was no fog this morning, and the bees have been out all day, so tomorrow it will be partly cloudy with a slight breeze. And the sky's red, so that means there'll be no rain tomorrow. Great! That's the perfect weather to finish my building work. But the chickens are huddling together to keep warm, so it will also be a bit chilly tomorrow. Don't forget to wear a jumper. I won't. Thank you, Moo, for your excellent weather reporting. It was my pleasure, Dr. Pander. I liked being on TV. Hey, maybe we could do a cooking program together. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.